Greetings everyone, I'm British Mocha Lover and welcome back to the Thousand Week Rank. Right now we have the Spy Story to end all spy stories. The recently published novel by Mr. Ian Fleming, Casino Royale, has received much acclaim. This is evident by the 4,700 and exactly 28 copies that have been printed already sold out in less than a month. The story follows the British spy James Bond on his latest mission to bankrupt Le Chiffre, a member of the German Sicherheitsdienst at the Royal Le O Casino, a dry martini won in deep champagne goblet. A failed union means off screen. I tried to do the meetings again for the mean unions, but I guess it failed. Um, so if you like to read about this, please go right ahead. But terrible? We gotta keep going on. We got quite a few uh, comments to go through. Uh, Kaiser Redux, eventually, someone said English socialism in the comments, so which I'm assuming would be another Hungarian Revolution, a new republic. Very cool. But English socialism, I would assume it was the Bevanites, probably. So, uh, let's see. Or I guess James Maxton. Oh, democracy delayed. Always good. A social democratic dictatorship. Okay. Wow, that is. That is a hungry I've never seen before. Um, the coronation of Elizabeth II. God save the queen. We probably like that one. But, okay, this is... Uh, I don't like this. Because usually, hungry isn't looking like this. They're usually like this. And they might have a little tip up here. They might actually own the Republic of Karpathal, Ukraine lands. Um, do you actually have a unique focus tree? Holy crap, what the heck? Uh, okay. But that is so weird. They go all the way to Senj and touch the Adriatic and Italy. So I'm feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about this, I'll be honest. I, I don't know if I like this or not. But hey, whether I like it or not, it's here and it's gonna stay. All right, uh, let's see. Let's grab some, let's grab some maintenance companies. Those are pretty useful. Grab some recon companies. Barbary People's Republic is Gonorinos. Well, Gonorinos, ooh, I don't know about that. Oh, anyways. Oh, uh, the Czechnik movement is looking pretty good against a Serbian social. Actually, what's in the Serbian social? Oh, they kind of have one too. Look at the apostles. Like, apostles. And the traitors. Revolutionary communism. Oh boy. Regardless, we must choose what we shall do. Uh, let's take a look here. Military spending. Meeting with trade unions. Well, I would like to grab down, go down here to the work, workshop for the world eventually. So, I asked y'all yesterday whether we should do National Works Project or Nationalization Program, as well as their two subsequent focuses that can't, well, that we'll have to choose if we choose either one. So, overall, there's support for both sides, but there's ultimately, I would say, a third more support for National Works Project. Here we go. One of the recovery proposals which has been brought forward is a new National Works Program throughout the entire country. By investing in the physical capacities of our economy, we can put Britain's back to work and resume long, long-term growth. And here's another comment from yesterday. Someone said that, uh, actually, we should play as Denmark. Uh, I should try out EU for some time and play the, some sort of Odyssey mod or something like that. Uh, let's see. What do I, play as Hadrish. Play as Benat, which I, I actually, I, I've seen Doonhammer Gaming Oh, Dune Hammer? Dune Hammer? I don't know, I always call him Dune. A Dune Hammer playing as uh, Benat, so I think he made a campaign over that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he did that. But anyways, but the comment I'm really trying to get to is saying that I get, I said Hugh Geit Skells, a main priority. Maybe it's actually Gate Skells, so if, if it's Gate Skell versus Geit Skell, please let me know. For, for this episode, at least for this purposes, I'm going to call him Gate Skell, if I remember. He had long argued that the largest current issue with the British economy was inflation being relatively uncontrolled. While not at a moment of crisis, a continued inaction in his mind could lead to growing issues in the future, and he considers it best that steps are made now, even if that involves cuts in certain areas of spending that could impact economic growth. What shall the government do? Um, keep inflation under control, or keep it under control. Well, obviously, yeah, it sounds like this one is probably better, but this one probably says don't worry about it, so I'm going to go with this one that that is okay with this one, so. Regardless, we're going to keep inflation under control no matter what happens. No matter what. Dissolution of the Sahara, one less monster state. Oh, okay. So, we have Egypt's, or, well, we have soldiers around Egypt right now, just in case the Egyptians don't like us. We've got soldiers here in Kuwait, just in case the Iraqis don't like us, because I don't know why they wouldn't like us. I mean, we're just lovable people. <gasps> Ooh, the Burger Creek starts. I wasn't expecting this. I thought they would just give up on stuff and give up on their lives. Apparently they did. Uh, so yeah, where's, uh, who are you to buy? Hank Feldmeier? Ah, uh, daddy, daddy, daddy Himmler. Ah, uh, warms your heart, doesn't it? Uh, Fat Man Goring. 
as well as von Manstein. Do you even need focus tree? Yeah, I guess it's kind of the German Civil War focus tree. And von Manstein's up there as well. I don't see any Daddy Hadrish. Daddy Hadrish, birthing hips, Hadrish. <gasps> I found his birthing hips. Hello there. Hello, handsome, Mr. Handsome over there. Uh, maybe we'll play as Hadrish sometime. I don't know. Token Hond. Ooh, very nice. Ah, uh, I love it. Let's grab some of that. Cool. Let's see. I think I've already gone through most uh, comments. Francis Fessing falls ill. Well, we might actually get involved here. So we'll see what happens. Let's see how long this war lasts. So. Well, that's cool. Air Force development doesn't look like. Oh, wait. They do have Germany in chaos. That's kind of cool. So we'll see what happens oh, regarding them. The Toronto Accord and Council emergency meeting, with the recent outbreak of the Civil War in Germany sending shockwaves around the world, leaders of the Toronto Accord nations are meeting in a special meeting emergency in Toronto to discuss the situation in a semi secret meeting. In it, the Alliance will debate possible intervention of other and other actions to be taken. The U.S. delegates have already given its options or its opinions, and it's now time for the British delegation to speak. We're not ready yet. We must prepare. Um, this is probably a bad idea, especially since we have no fuel. Invade through France. We have to be war. We lose France as staging grounds to invade Germany. Now that due to extremely militarized nature of the Rhineland, such an invasion will be very difficult. Wow, that is a lot of black sun down here. Wow. Uh, maybe I should... Reichsbezirke Westland. Verstadt, general government. Um, uh, okay, America. Oh, that's... Okay. Hmm. Oh, you guys are over here. You guys are over there. I mean, we could... We could try to land over there, I guess. There's... There's not really a lot of ports, though. Um... The Union State of Norway. They are a bunch of fascists. Hmm. Well... How do I invade? Or how do I invade them properly, I should really say. Oh, we have people all over the god dang world, don't we? God dang it. Well, let's get them back home before they all sink in the water. Cool. End of the comments. Someone recommends that, uh, fanatic German defense. Oh boy. That we don't spend all of our political power because we will have to pay off some debts eventually, so... We'll get there. Radicalized by the Nazi ideology. Millions of Germans are preparing to fight to the death to defend their fatherland from invasions. This will certainly not be an easy fight, and when already there are memories of the invasion of Japan, where men, women, and children fought for their emperor with whatever weapons they could find, clinging onto every inch of territory with tooth and nail as thousands of kamikaze pilots targeted the invasion fleet. There's little doubt in the minds of the TA planners that this, this war will be similar. Look, good luck to our men. Is that, is that all you say? Good luck? Uh, oh boy. That's party divisions. I don't like that. Controlling inflation is okay. Attack on their core territory. Uh, that doesn't sound very good. Ooh, that's kind of handsome. Another civil war. When can we not get more civil wars? More civil wars in the world. Please. Alright, you got a lot of DD? I'll go put you right there then. Um... We will join the war soon, just not yet. I want to get more fuel first, maybe. Uh, we only have eight fuel. America? I guess America's okay to buy from. Then again, we could buy from Canada. Commonwealth gotta stay strong, you know? Alright, America, I want that fuel. Give me that booty fuel. Hmm. Back war, we gonna vote. Aw, oh, yeah. The general government as well, eh? Germans crushing Ukraine. Well, that's good. Well, join the war soon enough. The Southern Uprising. Okay, cool. Oh, there's the Republic of Poland. Good luck, Poland. You're going to definitely need it. I don't know about how I feel about that one. They got a lot of bodies around there, so. I do have our tanks over here, which maybe I shouldn't have sent down here, so let's stop training them for now. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what consumes the most? The Air Force. Wait, why is the Air Force consuming the most? Are they... They're still training. Why? Stop training. There's a lot of planes we got to train. There we go. We should get way more fuel now, right? Um, there goes Ethiopia. Alright, since we stopped training... 
uh, UN backs war on Germany. The UN resolution backing the war against Germany for humanitarian reasons has passed. We now fight with the backing of all the UN, a righteous crusade? The anti-Nazi war. That's all it took? Okay. Well, the Navy can... Max consumption is a lot. Receives 0.65 every day. Um, why are we not getting enough fuel? Daily gain is 5,000. Navy requires... Man, the Navy is really thirsty. Holy crud. Vargas sticks his own life, huh? Well, if that's the case, I'm sorry, ships. I can't use all y'all. So goodbye, sh subs. Goodbye. Um, I guess, I guess we might as well just go to war then. There you go. Hopefully, hopefully we got enough fuel in here. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Everyone wants the stuff. I'm going to leave it up to maybe the U.S. to invade, maybe. Because um, we have enough of, you know, ships in the area. Ukrainian Civil War. Actually, before these guys die, how, what is the Poles, what do they have? Raid German Barracks, Poland's not yet lost. Oh, I've seen this fucking shit before, yeah. Oh, uh, sure, the Unpopular Revolution. The Unusual Federation, that's very unusual. Um, yeah, I, I'd like to, to, to have America, you know, do, do their stuff, I suppose. Yeah, everyone, if you want to come in. Uh, I don't really feel like invading, especially Denmark, so I'm just saying the Slovak up spring, cool. I'll be honest, I don't really feel like invading. I want to leave that up to the Americans. Why did my voice change? Hmm. Hmm. Well, can we invade there? Yeah, we can. We're going to need a port, though, if we're going to invade. So we'll probably do that too. Can we do both those? That would actually be really good so we can take that tile out. Throw another three in there just in case. Um, actually, we'll probably come down here so we can evade both these tiles. So, Order stored in Denmark. They never... What? Wait, what? National Works Project. To deal with the slumping economy, the government decided that Putin would take a leaf out of Germany's book in the 30s. The Weimar government and then the Nazis succeeded in kickstarting growth through national works projects, building new infrastructure across the nation to improve both productive efficiency and reduce unemployment. We will launch a similar program in Britain to get the gears of the workshop rolling again towards prosperity. Very nice. In which expand Britain's industry or infrastructure. I want an industry so we can maybe trade away another civilian factory. We were once the workshop of the world, eclipsing all other nations in practice of physical production, but have lost that coveted spot. By investing in our industrial sector, we can once again strive to increase our standing in, the, in that field. Alright, America, when would you like to invade? Well, we got a Bedford RL. I assume it's a truck. Uh, let's see what else we got. That's not bad. And again, I suppose we could try to invade over here instead of Denmark. It's probably going to be a really bad invasion if we were to try one. Uh, does anyone else want to join in the fight? Like, America, where are your soldiers? Oh, never mind. They're coming in. Oh, uh, they're already here. I guess we could try it. It's probably going to go quite poorly. Oh, actually. There you go. That's probably actually better to do. No, it was you guys, right? Yeah, I can look. Can we get, oh, we need to get over... No? Oh, they're still preparing. Okay. Oh, hello! Uh, we beat the general government. Um, they announced that the cowardly German nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Polish forces throughout the country. Uh, oh, it's a general government. Okay, that makes sense then. There you go. You can have that. Good luck, Poland. You, you're gonna need it, son. Soldiers, take over. Wow. Invade through France? I mean, we could. Well, that would probably provoke the French, though. They have the... French administration. Henri Frenet. They are liberals. Wait, can they join us? That'd be really cool if they could join us. Sarawak? Sure, why not? Oh, they actually have a French Republic here, huh? I guess it's really French to have over there. Um, okay, we're landing, hopefully, in Denmark. Hopefully, do okay here. All right, well, looks like it's successful so far. Not bad. 
And we better do this before the, the Americans show up and really just screws up supplies so badly. Go, 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 go. Short stroke gas piston, eh? Well, that's not that ahead of time. We might as well do it. Doesn't take that much time, right? I just want to pay off debts, man. Oh, we're getting attacked, aren't we? Can we actually pierce those booties? Oh, we can pierce the booties. Nothing like a good booty piercing. Cool. And I, did, I did not tell you guys whether we we're going to do housing or the central economy planning and the focuses underneath the National Works Program. But apparently, according to you guys, a hung parliament means that no one has an absolute majority. Okay. As an American, I'm just saying, like, okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> Cool. Let's go to Copenhagen and teach these Dutch boys a lesson. How dare you not let us take you over? How dare you? Drop tanks? Uh, no, we good. Uh, better planes actually might be okay, though. Better fighters might actually be relatively smart to invest in. How dare you not give us enough Canada? Oh, we don't like you anymore. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Can't construct buildings? Do we believe in buildings here in Britain? Where does that term even come from? Like, just British. Where does the term British come from? That's a good question to ask. I don't know. Um, quarter Anglo, I think? I think? I don't know. Ask my dad. Ask my mom. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's calm down here, boys. Let's calm down here. And why is supply so bad? Southern Jutland? Oh, I can't even build it up, so... Go figure. Um, America, would you like to get involved the Prague Uprising? Checks? Awesome. I love the checks. Oh, well, that's good. Good luck, guys. You're really going to need that. Anyways, uh, expand Britain's infrastructure. Our economy cannot grow the different elements which constitute it are not able to interact with each other by expanding the size of our nation's various infrastructures. We can circumvent this issue. Military spending? I don't know if that's good to cut down right now. Just saying, man. Just saying, I've got a good feeling that we might not want to do that right now in the middle of a war against some Jerry boys. And actually, since we got planes, and since we have no way to use them, so one, two, three, four, sometimes five makes 500. And then one, two, three. And then one. There you go, Akinlek. If I'm saying his name right, which I think I am. There you go. I'm lazy, so there you go. I'm lazy again, and there you go. I'm quite lazy still, of course, so. There you go, not bad. 400 more. Uh, there you go. Good luck. Very good. Swiss Revolution, the Swiss Angry 2, probably. Ceasefire in Switzerland, what a, a fight, okay. Oh, Danish Street, great. Um, I suppose it probably doesn't too much, make too much sense that I'd just straight up annex them, would it? But I guess we are, because I have literally no other option. Nice. Sure, check resistance. You want a non efficient Oh, actually, I had fuel. Look at that. Welfare. Oh. I don't want to lose any more political power, though. Slovenian Declaration. Okay, and people can give me stuff. Started the Benelux, holy crap. Everyone everyone hates the Nazis. Did you know that? Hmm. Is that literally all it took to... Um... Uh... Kingdom of the Netherlands, would you like this territory back? Yeah, maybe they want this territory. They're just gonna lose it, though, so... Oh, we're going to need a lot of score for the hog. The Hague? The hog. Hoggy, 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 hagy, hagy, hagy. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly or not. Vlanderen? Gotta get up to 2,000. I apologize for the clicking. Alright, is that enough? There you go. You can have this. Is that the right nation? Yeah. Uh, maybe I should... Eh, well, it could have been worse, I guess. Oh, no, never mind. They are fighting the Nazis, so... Uh, yeah. Good luck, guys. 
Oh, the Americans are trying to need... You know what? I'm kind of okay with that just because... Up here, at least I'm not ruining supply for now, so... Well, Americans have landed in Hamburg. And what is this? The... Oh, the Benelux Revolutionary. Oh. No one likes the Nazis. Oh. Well, maybe I should say everybody, but... Yeah, the Toronto Corps really doesn't like them. Tanks? Nah, we'll just send British boys in to fight. <laughs> How many have we lost? Eh, that's not bad. Kingdom of Belgium? 3,000, 23,000, 25,000. Yeah, I've got a lot of them. Nice. Very nice. So have the Benelux soldiers as well. I guess they don't like Heinrich Himmler, Daddy. Hmm. What's wrong with them? The Great Smog of London, ne London Nino. Uh, a period of exceptionally cold weather and a lack of any wind has uh, caused a layer of smog to form over London. And while smog here is common, the scale is unprecedented. Visibility in many central areas is on the border of a few meters, causing the shutdown of most public transport and events. And thousands are thought to have died from respiratory illnesses. These last few days will become known as the Great Smog of 1952. That hope is clear soon. Well, don't they have health care or something? Can't they fix that? Yep. Goodbye, check resistance. Looks like y'all could probably do pretty darn well as well. Alright, boys. Just don't die too hard in the war against these folks. Just die hard enough. Oh, agree with the meet with the unions. Last time I agreed with the unions, they didn't like me. War economy it is. War economy for our labor's future. Very, very nice. Um Yeah, this is why I don't like playing Germany. Because if you have a civil war, the Toronto Corps can just touch you, and I don't like getting touched like that, so. Just saying. They they have a lot of manpower. They just don't have enough. that's a lot of manpower. Holy crap! Jesus Christ, Heinrich Himmler. But pa Panorama returns at 11:15 last night. Millions of viewers throughout the country turned on their TVs to tune in to the return of Panorama, debuted last month by the BBC. The controversial new program was temporarily pulled from the air due to a number of technical issues scattered throughout the first episode, which caused major embarrassment for the distinguished broadcaster. From the opening titles, displaying the magnificent London skyline to the end credits, the second episode of Panorama has proven to be a great success with critics. Conceived by journalist Dennis Bodden's, Panorama is set to be released by the BBC every two week arenas. And will feature its hosts, journalist Max Robertson, reporting on topics ranging from the odds and celebrity to the news at home and abroad. The heads of the BBC understand that their new show is bristling with the potential to kick off and make its mock worldwide as a place of serious debate and investigative journalism. Something desperately needed in these tumultuous and challenging times while we're killing off our own British boys in the names of anti-Nazism. Here's to the future of Panorama, Panorama and the BBC. I love the British Broadcasting Corporation. I think that's what it is. I mean, do I really love it? I don't know. I don't like that it's, it's what was it? Isn't it like, forces the taxpayers to pay for it? Doesn't it? They're forced to pay that, right? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like being forced to do anything. Expand northern industry. The north of England has historically been the industrial heart of our nation, with countless factories producing countless small goods. We must set aside funds to ensure that the north remains a center of industry. Well, even though we're not necessarily winning, we at least ain't losing. And when they attack us, they just they just a bunch of losers. Come on, American tanks, do something. Ace pilot promoted, don't mind if we do. Uh, Senor, oh, you would like that. Ah, and I think a lot of us would like that. Uh, Alan Brooke, uh, he's a dude, right? He's a real dude. There you go, get reinforced right too. Anyone else got up? Great Arenos, yes, no, maybe so. Jeffrey, Bernard. I'm not really using Bernard right now. Offensive, but he's not an aggressive assaulter. It looked, he'd be looking a little old there, but he's still got the spirit. I guess we'll do that one since he's got the other, that one, so. Alright. Very cool, and we're just kind of blowing them over. Not blowing them, just blowing them over. I love bombers. I love bombing my enemies into submission, even though we lost the battle right there. Carrier stuff? Cool. Let's grab some uh, other sea carrier deuterinos and air doctrine. Operational integrity sounds right up our alley. Hope you guys are having a pretty okay day. Doing okay myself. Maybe a little bit tired, but you know what? That's okay. Man, everyone. Look at all those people. How dare you go to war with Benat? How dare you, Romania? And it's almost 50. Whoopsie. 54. And in 54, we can't do any more research for industrial goodies. Which are breaking my heart. Large scale jet engines. I don't believe in jet engines. Air Doctrine, I barely believe in that. Land Doctrine's coming along. 
Okay, there's really not much we can research. I hope we can go to war with Egypt or something. That'd be fun. I'll put you all four right there. At this point, um, you might just have one solid united line, so. There you go. Oh, I don't, I don't want to support the Belgians. Just saying. As much as we love Taki Senpai sometimes. I think we've got enough on our side of the border here to deal with, so let's go over there. Kind of hang out, have a good time, take a nice little smoke break. Democratic Revolution in Slovakia. Oh boy. Just gonna hang on out and have a good old time. Actually, are we missing equipment? Yeah, oh god, yeah, we are. We, should we really need to stop attacking. So give us, give our guys some time to get some planning done. Yeah, get make some more equipment. And have a good old time as we wait the destruction of all these dudes around here. Oh, but not, not but not, no. Not lovely little Banaterino. There you go. Oh, more civvies. Um, expand northern industry. Well, is there a way for me to get rid of this political power? I don't want to do that though. The compromise. I want to get rid of party divisions though. A solemn retirement. The Mediterranean Union. Eh, we can wait. Expand southern industry. Attract domestic investments. British rail. New rail lines. I guess we'll expand the southern industry. The south of England has never been a particularly robust center of British industry, but there's no reason that f for, the, for that state of affairs to continue. We should set aside resources to expand the south's industrial capacity. Yes, very much so. Yes, yes. Hum diddle dum huh? We've got to give the good old ram a try here. Eventually. The north and the south. Oh, a tankerino. I'm not going to throw you in the battle against these guys. Tanks are precious. Men are not precious? Hmm. Im Wait, what's immoral warfare? Wait, Im hold on. Oh, look at the, the occupied Japanese want to give us stuff. I thought it was the Filipinos or the uh, Czechs, but all right then. Um, Immoral warfare. Like, were we doing something to their women or something or like that? Or what's going on? That's that's usually immoral, right? Like nuclear bombs. You get more research speed. I like that. Where's? It's not like Old World Blues where we have a page dedicated for like special things that are technologies that different groups can get, right? I don't know. Immoral warfare sounds immoral, which kind of perks my interest. All right, boys, you're gonna die for the queen again, and have at the secure his leadership. All right, well, let's take a look at what these dudes are. Alfred Yodel. Well, can you please die, son? I can let... Oh, wait. We broke their enemy ciphers. I didn't even know we had a spy agency. Nice. Um, well, there goes SS. God, it was that easy taking out the SS. What do you mean? Um. Uh, do I just take it all? Like, I'm not sure what to do with all this stuff. I'm not sure who to give this to. I'll be honest, like, the French... No. Um... Is it, hopefully there's an event where I can just give back the territory to people. Uh, I would actually really, really like that. Uh, hopefully we can. Alright. Well, I think this is the way God intended for the UK to look. Actually, I kind of like this. This area should really be taken over someday by Benelux. Well, then again, I guess the French won't like that. But then again, when are the French ever happy? More research? Cool. Cool. We're going to do that, but really going to just put them all down here just because we're going to run out of factories. Eh, do it anyways. Uh, just because we're going to be running out of factories anyways down here. Uh, convoys, why not? I can't imagine we're going to get in too many naval conflicts and such, so. Support companies, let's grab some uh, widespread mechanization. Cool, and we're going to stop you from doing stuff because even though you're my best group here, it cost me a lot of fuel, man. It just cost me so Oh, two more god dang carriers. Oh, my word of the god lord. Oh, boy. Wow. Wow, mama. Well, with power to the Nazis, the the Black Sun defeated, we should do pretty well with these guys. Robert Bray. There you go, son. Good luck. Give the good old Rambler try Renos. Oh, and the Americans are doing well down there, too. All right. Fighter baiting. We're going to bait them fighters out and just go pew pew and they go kaboom. Or at least that's my hope of Reno. Yeah, honestly, this... 
Maybe we should stop again. Stop and smell the roses. Uh, Treaty of Honolulu. Cool. I need to play as Japan sometime. I know that you can't go to war or do anything with them. I know Dune never played as them before, but... Sikorsky, declare region general. But we can just see what they do, what they're up to. Expand southern industry. Attract domestic investment. Very few ventures can be realized if we do not have the necessary capital to support them. We must seek to gather investment from sources from within our country in order to ensure that the National Works program is quite successful. Are you guys attacking or is that our ally? Oh, the Americans are killing themselves. Okay. Well, if the Americans want to do that, we're all going to go right on in then. Hope we got more max planning done. The GGR is almost dead. Oh, America's got more casualties inflicted than us, but... Oh, never mind! We just took out and overran a group off screen. Or just, like, behind here or somewhere like that. America's killed a few more of them emergency bail shot people. But we we have led the casualties with almost 400,000 casualties. I love it. Uh, is, is the war not over yet? Uh, I guess not. How's Italy doing, actually? Are they are they fascists, or what, what's going on? Bonito, what are you doing? Rekindle... What the heck? Sorry we hear that stuff in the background. People are dropping stuff in the shower. But, anyways. Um, rekindle a relationship with... The, were Yemeni Italian relationships ever that close? I don't know. I'm just a simple American, so... Oh, this is so sad for these guys. You better die off, though. You sons of guns. Actually, do we have it here that... Uh, actually, garrisons. Do we have any... Yeah, we do have garrisons around here. I did want to strip these guys bare, which sounds really kind of... Not straight, I guess? But whatever. Um, cavalry. There you go. I just used up all our XP. There you go. That Look at that production cost. Holy crap. Uh, production cost and manpower per division, much less. Way less. Local autonomy, that's the one we want. Because we're a democratic. I think we're democratic. Well, we're slightly democratic, right? Oh, uh, look at all these dead soldiers. Oh, yeah. Now that's pretty nice. Let's go all the way to Salzburg, probably. Can we get a Vienna? As some may call it Vien? They're only guarded by militia divisions? Wow. And a few, like, tanks. Literally just a few tanks. And the tanks we got. Okay. Alright, everyone, go on in. Hold, have a good time. Go, 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 go. We can beat them Americans. Aw, oh, yeah. Beat them Americanas up. Iraqi oil nationalized. Oh, no, not the oil. The only thing I really care about in my life is more oil. Oh, we killed those guys. Three divisions over there. Come on, guys. Give up. The Congo conflict, no one cares about Africa. Center, second inter party uh, government? Oh, oh, Ireland. Uh, oh, we go take out the Irish too? I hear that's a very British thing to do. Ireland in independence? Ha! Huh. I don't know, I'm not Irish at all. I don't know, what's going on? All I know is that if they want you to start your car, you better start your car. I love domestic investments. We need you? You need me? Aww. Oh. Restore investor confidence. Several high caliber investors are not entirely keen on providing capital for the National Works program. We must assure them that they will not see a loss in their investments if they choose to go along with us. Clement Attlee. Hmm. Would you look at that? They're, what happened to the Americans? Why are there so few Americans here? What's going on? Why are we the ones who have killed almost a third of a million? The Americans have killed 100,000. Slovak tensions... Hun hun Slovak Hungarian tensions. We've only lost 6,000. 7,000. God dang, British independence. Who needs a navy with an army this strong? Alright, let's put these people down for good. Ah, Anglo-German ties have never been better. So, can I release people as a puppet? Oh, the Madagascar problem. Winds have changed. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. Danish occupation. What do you mean? Occupation? This ain't no occupation. This is called liberation. Actually, can I release them as puppets manually? Manage subjects. Oh no. Well, that's a lot of resistance in the Danish state. Um, I'm not seeing anything here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well. Danish occupation. Dra 
Occupied and toppled, Denmark should now be reorganized into a transitional government in order to prepare Denmark for our eventual independence. A Danish occupation command uh, will assume the task of reconstructing Denmark and will hand over its authority to a reconstructed Danish government once everything's ready. Ah, oh, Denmark. Not real. Oh, look at that flag. Jet A, Trump, and you now have a generic focus tree. With some of this stuff, so arrest the rebels. Restore the pre-war status quo. Hey, Republic of Iceland is here. And do they have a unique focus tree? No? Okay. And U.S. has taken over Dewey. Who the heck is Dewey? Dewey Decimal System? Well, anyways, we got the fate of Mamel. Uh, Mimel. I don't know if I want to do this. Where's my option to release Germany? With Mamel captured, there are now several questions regarding this strip of territory. Should the Germans keep it or should the Baltic people be allowed to unify? I, I mean, I guess... I'm not really sure what else to say. Civilian industry, the Baltic Council, no unique focus tree disappoints me, but that's all right. Eventually, what does this mean? Independence? But if left alone, it will happen automatically regardless once the timer expires. I do not want to give up on those folks. Well, I can give them up as long as I can beat up the Egyptians. I don't know what's wrong with me. I want to invade Egypt for some reason. What did you guys take all this territory back? Hold on, I'm not just handing territory out like candy. Whoa. France? What the bad words are you doing? You didn't even work. We should have invaded France. Poland. I did not give you authorization for you to take this over. Poland, you son of a gun. Even though I should play as Poland sometime. The Iron Hussar, huh? Alright, well, we'll see what happens eventually. Oh, no. No, I don't like this. No, why is it forced? Uh, Oh, actually, oh, this is kind of nice. Lichten... Oh, why did you restore Lichtenstein? Why? I, I love how big you are. When did we do this? The North Sea Naval Exercise. I don't remember doing that. Um, no. Oh, for, I will. No. I'm giving this back to Germany. This is ugly. Great European Refugee Crisis. Czechoslovak War. Um, yeah, I, I don't like that. I'm sorry. I, I really don't like that. I don't like that how it looks. If anything, you give this part back to Austria. <laughs> Wait, oh, no, why did they take the Saarland? Oh, France. Arr. Oh, I mean, this is frustrating. It's not that bad, though. Oh, come on, Slovaks, you beat him up and show the Czechs who's boss. Oh, you smack him down. Smack him, smack him, smack him. Now, what do you do about Germany? Like, literally, hold on, ho hold on, before they die. Do you have any divisions? They're a bunch of liberals versus a bunch of liberals. What is wrong with it? Is he looking up? <laughs> a Protestant priest and politician. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, Slovakia does have a crisis. Uh, focus streaming. So I, I saw the word crisis, so. No di Don't mess with the Slovaks. Wait. Restore investor conf. Hello. Uh, what is this? Post-colonial foreign policy. I don't believe in that. British Rail Expansion. The island of Great Britain has been connected by rail for almost 100 years now, but there's so much room for growth in this brave new age. Is it our interest to increase the capacity of British Rail? What the heck happened here? The German Confederal Union. The Great War 40 years on. It was 40 years ago today that the Great War of 1914-18 to 18 began. So by far, the war that claimed the lives of the most British soldiers and civilians so far. The World War may have been overshadowed by more recent events around the world that are grander in scale, but remain str strongly relevant in the minds of the British people. Four decades have given people time to reflect at many points of the war as a beginning in the spark that lit the fire of the 20th century and turned it into an endless era of darkness, spawning continuous war, misery, and ultimately the rise of the Nazis. Still, others point to the war and insist that Britain is now down, but not out. We beat the Germans once, and though this time they may have been gripped by an insane ideology we enslaved Europe, we will be back and we will win again. Um, I think it's a little late, not gonna lie, just because... Well, maybe not, because uh, we've already won the war. We've already whooped them. In these trying times, optimism can be hard to come by. Uh, what? <laughs> Where it all went wrong, just throw a bunch of American soldiers at the Germans and you'll probably win. Look at that, provisional international authority for Germany. Politics and diplomacy. Oh, it's a generic focus tree. Why can't my just... The dude dries up again. <sighs> well, since we've got all my pee, pee here. Oh, provided 10,000 troops. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. German resistance is currently high. 200,000 troops required for active pacification. Alright. We'll deploy 10,000. 
And I'll meet with the unions, maybe. We get more weekly stability, which is actually something I really like, so. And they won't like us. Streamer in existence. What is this? Recognize long term. Yes. 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 Successful union meetings. If you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. We get 100 political power. Not bad. We love social democracy. That's a lot of social democracy. That's actually really quite a bit. Um, can we go total mobilization? Oh, man. That's all right, though. What do I do with all my PP now? Where do I put it? Um, hopefully they do a good job, I guess. God dang, Slovakia. Go at them, boys. Go at them. Uh, what is this? Cancel the non-aggression pack, whatever. Just research speed. Leo computers. Uh, nothing really here I really care about. I'll be honest, nothing I really care about, so. Vickers guns on like fun. Ah. Oh, Jeremy Surrenders. Yeah, where have you guys been? Production cost goes way down. I like that. The end of a dark era. That's good. Czech Republic is gone, which. Oh, I don't even want to look at how bad it is. Like. Jesus Christ, what the heck is wrong with the borders? Oh my god, this hurts. I want. Uh. I want to give this to Germany. I really do. Should I give this to Germany? Please let me know in the comments below. Because I, I hate how this looks. I really do. This is so ugly. And Slovakia. Why? Asian proletariat front? China. Uh, America? What are you doing? Wait. Did you just throw... Um... Why did you go to I guess they are fascists, but they're fighting national- America. What is going on? <laughs> the unrest in occupied Germany is again broken out into near insurgency. With a large surge of terrorist attack Renos targeting dude civilians and our occupying forces alike. Troop transports, transports are ambushed or blown up, occupied forces assassinated, and German politicians taking part in the UN attack. As a result of the recent attacks, the forces in Germany are now conducting a wave of counter-terrorist operations and attempting to root out and destroy Nazi cells. We'll hunt them down like the dogs they are. I don't want to get involved in your wars, America. Good lord, wh what is this? 2003? If I have to, you know, but I'm not going to get involved. Generalissimo, goodbye, Generalissimo. If you want to join, go right ahead. I have no interest in killing the Greeks off. I'll be honest, I really don't. But if people want to give me goods... Yeah, there we go. This is exactly why... This is the only reason why I did it. So I can get some more goods here. Second... Second Russian Republic? Ooh. Nice. Let's grab some of that. Russian... Wait. Is this a second? Blood is... Whoa. What happened? Hold... Hold... No. No. What... These were the USSR, wasn't it? What happened? I went with this way last time. Line infantry is just okay. I, I really don't like it that much. What happened? I am... Meh. Why are you so red? The fate of Madagascar. Since the collapse of the part of the French colonial empire in the mid, mid early mid 1940s, the formerly French island of Madagascar off the coast of East Africa has been under occupation. While safeguarding it from the Axis powers, the presence on the large islands has not been cheap, with much material and capital being constantly needed to maintain it. As a result, there are many calling for withdrawal from the island, citing that there is little threat of an Axis resurgence towards it, and a granting of the country's independence. How should we proceed? Uh, I don't want to lose pickle power. There you go. Have it. Piece of garbage. We're not going to trade with you then, anyways. Mm. Big meanies. We just want to own you. Seriously, like, what, what's going on here? How did this happen? How? This has been a, a wacky, wild episode. I'm not going to lie. New railways? Now that the British Rail has completed its general expansion, we should look into constructing new railways in place which that haven't had them before. This can help us connect our nation and our economy together. What could be better than that? Occupying Germany some more. Oh, we need a... Oh, America's beating us. No, no, no. Total 136,000, no. Welfare reforms? Let's do some political power, because why not? Uh, war propaganda against the U.S.? Don't think the Americans are going to like that. We'll do it anyways. Wow, America loves sending its troops to Germany. Makes sense, though. Well, this is kind of wild. Oh, the Mediterranean Alliance is looking not super thick. 
the anti-German coalition will... Okay, we are doing anti-American propaganda while getting supplies from America. Oh, it sucks that, uh... Why do these guys not... I guess it makes sense why they shouldn't have a military here, but... The French... Why did the French Republic get this? They don't deserve this at all. I, it's, I do like this. I like this a lot. I think this is just... Wait, hold on. Ooh... Uh, this is one thing I will switch immediately, though. Um, Oipen Malady? Malmedy? That's better. That that just looks better. I'm sorry. It just looks better. Uh, if we're gonna... I, I don't like Bordegor. It, it just hurts my eyes. It hurts my face. It hurts my soul. Union agreements. Uh, sir, do not... Ooh. Well, that's not good. We well, all need more people to put down some gosh darn Nazarenos. What are we building right now? Uh, radar is cool and all, guys, but how about some cities? Because right now, we're looking at as a GDP. It's, hey, third in the world, not bad. We're above the French. Barely above the French. Oh, well, it's because they weren't at war. Danish monarchy restored. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. So, uh, finally, we get down to here. So, overall, do, should we do housing for the nation, or should we do centralized economic planning? Well, overall, you guys recommended that... Well, there's some more support, I should say. For people to... Have houses. Uh, he Blitz has left countless Britons without any sort of housing or shelter. We can now let these people suffer in destitution. And a new housing construction program should provide bountiful work for many of our countries unemployed, even though we literally get no benefit at the current time of this. Currently has no effect. Um, if we were to rebel and recover from the, all the war, all the economic engines of this isle should be locked in, should be in lockstep with each other. All national economic plans should originate from London as well, and Westminster. Well, obviously we didn't go down that route. And that's a okay with me. Welfare reforms, pacification. Oh, nice. We're no longer fighting Nazi terrorists. Very, very cool. We still have no. Oh, we have no fuel because we guys, you guys still, huh? Take that off. Take it off. Um. Yeah. Go right ahead there. Watch out, the Americans. They. America, why you why you want to beat up other countries? I'm spending more. I want to have the highest number here. The higher the resistance level, the more frequent ma major TA members will get terrorism-related events. Well, America, they they actually pair drop maybe. They're doing a pretty good job of defeating some Greek boys, but Malay asked to be granted Saba. A former colony in Malay is asked to transfer the territory of Saba over to the rule. Although the Saba colony provides us with a very strategic chokehold in the South China Sea, it, much like the rest of our empire, is beginning to weigh down us down. It might be logistically intelligent to relinquish our claim over the colony and appease the decolonization advocates in the home isles. Saba is theirs? Maybe we defeated the wrong group. Why can't we just keep expanding and taking more people over? That could have provided us so much more mineral resources. I guess I had no rubber, but still. What a shame. What a shame. Is this what we fought for? Is this literally what we fought to decolonize our empire and make us weaker? We didn't even get a chance to go to war with Iraq when they nationalized them oil companies. Oh, they actually have a war goal against Iran. You look kind of scary. Abd al Karim Qasim. Welfare forms are passed. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead. But it's uh, all right with me. Whatever. Invest in our future. Britain is the safest and longest lasting investment we have. We must ensure that the growth provided by this National Works Program lasts long into the future. Wait, National Works? I guess Works Project, but Nationalization Program. Well, good job, America. <laughs> you let the National Socialists win. <laughs> Why? America took out the fascists, so the, the Nazi Greeks won the... Why? They won the war. Oh, Thousand Week Reich. Never change. Alright, we're no longer fighting Nazi scum. We're gonna put more soldiers down here to put them down. I don't want to give up. We're gonna. Actually, let's go over here. Construction? Might as well maybe get some more dispersed output, because right now we're actually not doing too bad. Not bad. America! Why? Why are you going to war with all these people? So, so why Sylvania? What does Sylvania do to you? Uh, decentralization. 
Um, I usually go this one. Let's go with centralization, because I don't think anyone's going to really invade us, but then again, America's going to war with everybody, so you never know. Um, yeah, seriously, I don't know how you're supposed to get... When did Bulgaria join? Well, America does have its paradrop. Well, technically... Technically, these guys aren't in the war. So, yeah, we can't actually go in there. Huh. Well, come on home, boys. Um, I don't know why that keeps popping up, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Fuel, Iran. Goodbye, Iran. Thanks for the good times, though, son. Thanks for the good times. We're here for a good time, not a long time. And then, all right, I think we can do this one. Canada wants a carrier. Our allies in Canada have offered to purchase one of our aircraft carriers from us as a part of an effort to expand the Royal Canadian Navy. While the loss of a carrier would weaken our naval power somewhat, it would strengthen a trustworthy ally, and the payment could help our cash-strapped nation somewhat. The UK will gain some of Canada's CIV capacity for a week. For a year. See it. Politely refuse. Um, okay, yeah. Sure, here you go. Through a great deal of struggle and effort, we've taken back a rifle position as one of the world's primary workshops. The factories have been opened again, the people have been put back to work, and it appears as though Britain's economic future is as bright as can be, in which we lose for the economic recovery and economic downturn. We have welfare reforms for now, and fighting Nazi god dang arenas. Independence for Ghana, Ghana formerly known as the colony of Old Gold Coast, shall have become the first of the former British colonies in Africa to gain independence and self-determination. Oh, good God, no. Slovenia asked for recognition. A weird letter was sent to the British Foreign Office, sent by the government of Slovenia. The young states requested British recognition, hoping that the British Empire would support an independent Slovenia. You're at war with their ally. Who? Who will you be? So further, uh, so we'll get rid of that, which is good, actually. We got Marx over here, hanging out. High national debt. Uh, economic downturn. Well, we don't, I don't think we have that one. Imperial instability. Um, Alright, more boys are going to put, be put over there. Yeah, we'll meet with the unions and see what happens. We get more stability that way. Even though we might be maxed out already. Adolfsburg. Well, Adolfsburg did nothing wrong. Did they even need focus tree? That'd be really cool. Oh, no. Alto Abets. Oh, alright. We meet with the unions. Most success. Oh, never mind. They do have a unique focus tree. Alright. Alright, whatever. Pacification of Germania. Ah, stick me with that polio vaccine. Man, when I was a kid, my mom literally stuck me with every vaccine known to man. Like, if there was a vaccine available, just stick me with it. She was like, just stick him. Just just do it. I got, I, I, I hate vaccines. I mean, I don't hate them, but Jesus Christ, I just get again and again and again and again. Sometimes your arms just get tired and you're like, mm, stop stabbing me, doctor. Anyway, huh, 30 days. I want to see what happens down here. And I want to see what happens with this. Workshop of the world. Oh my gosh, I don't care about the Nazis' terrorism. But economic prosperity is something I do care about quite a bit. Now let's see. Our destiny? At peace. Oh crap. A pull nope. Uh, Middle East. If I don't do this, then they might just break up anyways. Uh, nope, we're going to do military spending. <gasps> Many Labor Party members believe that military or military spending should be decreased. Even though the Nazis are right across the channel, we need to decrease the extremely high mili m military spending that we waste away every year. Who says we're wasting it? Maybe we're just trying to blow up... Never mind. Economic prosperity. The effects of war, declining empire, and isolation from the European economy have taken their toll on the British economy. As finances ran out and trade dried up, Britain had entered a long period of economic stagnation and not only holding the country back, but making life difficult for the British people, already worried about the enemy across the channel now. With hard work, new economic policy, and a bit of luck, the engine of the British economy has sputtered back to life, increasing economic output, and in turn allowing a period of prosperity for the people. There is no doubt Britain is not the economic juggernaut that it was once was on the world stage, but certainly its economy has regained its potential. We get a whole 5% construction speed, and as one of the people you guys watching told me yesterday, we should pay off some of the debt. Awesome. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And tomorrow, we might just see Iraq take out Iran. What the heck is going on down here? As well as maybe America take out Slovenia. Thanks for watching. Have a great British rest of your day.